Today, I'm joined by Eddie George, uh, a financial technology expert, mentor, and consultant from New Finance. Thank you for joining me tonight, You're Eddie. You're very welcome. You're very welcome. And our first guests are from Blend Media. We have Damon Collier, the CEO, and Simon Brooksbank, head of content. Welcome to the show, guys. Hi, Catherine. So we've got some fun facts about you to start off. Uh, we, we heard, Damien, that you managed the most viewed viral video of all time, Charlie Bit My Finger. That's true, yep. That was my last business that was acquired in 2014 that I started by signing the exclusive management rights to that video and grew a business around it. I remember that video. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so, so how do you manage a viral video? Well, the thing about viral videos is that people want to use them. So mm. brands wanted to use it, TV programs want to use it, and someone needs to negotiate those deals and do the contracts. And I have a background as a lawyer in the city, so a, a legal background. And uh, it's about negotiating rights, protecting rights, and, and especially videos with kids in it. You've got to be quite careful. So maximizing revenue and protecting rights. Yeah, I think a legal background always, always helpful. Doesn't help. uh, are you ready to pitch? Sure. Great. Okay, so um, as I said, I trained and qualified um, in, in the city as a lawyer, but for the past 20 years I've been an entrepreneur and uh, run several successful businesses. My last one was acquired in 2014 after three years of trading. Um, I'm here to pitch Blend Media, which has in the last two and a half years become the global leader in immersive content and technology, which is 360 degree video and, and, and virtual reality. Um, in those two and a half years since I founded the business, we've helped uh, almost 40 major brands, household names, uh, start to make use of immersive content uh, in advertising campaigns, uh, corporate training, um, health and well-being, uh, recruitment, a, a range of use cases. Um, as you can see on the screen, here's a number of the brands that we've, we've worked with, um, everything from live streaming the solar eclipse last summer for NASA um, to creating a um, an interactive experience for Disney uh, for Mickey Mouse's 90th birthday that's currently seen on Disney's homepage. Uh, some of the use cases that we've come across, so Deloitte Digital we do quite a lot with. Um, their problem that they're solving is how do you, in such a fierce market, recruitment market, how do you attract talent? Um, and especially the younger talent who are looking for something different. And so they've subscribed to our platform um, and our platform is a editing and, and publishing tool for 360 video and virtual reality that allows you to create interactive experiences and that combined with our library of 360 content and our creator network gives an end-to-end -end solution for businesses like Deloitte um, and so their use case is how do you go to a recruitment fair and, and attract talent um, what we created for them was a virtual tour of their London office so that they could put people in headsets at a recruitment fair and, and attract talent. Um, and they actually reported that they had three times the number of applications after using our platform. So that's a, a tangible uplift. Um, Universal Music also subscribed to our platform on a monthly basis. And they are using it to create interactive 360 experiences for some of their music acts. And that's what I already talked about. Um, and here's some of the other stuff that we've done. So most recently, we worked with the Macallan Whiskey, who wanted to engage their global audience. Um, so Macallan, obviously, based in Scotland, and they've just built a fantastic new distillery, 20 million pound distillery. And what, they have a big um, uh, user base and, and uh, fan base of, of the whiskey in, in the US. And how do you bring them into the family? How do you bring them into the experience and show them the new distillery? So we filmed that using uh, drones and 360 technology and built the interactive experience which they activated in um, Grand Central Station in New York this summer. L'Oreal is another, another really interesting use case. They have a lot of high turnover staff. So in their salons business, they're constantly training people on you know, how to greet people in the salon, how to sell product in the salon. And a lot of them stay for a month and then leave. They've obviously invested a lot of time into, into training those people. So if you build an interactive experience, you can, um, uh, you can put them in a headset and you're not repeatedly doing that. Um, we're noticing a lot uh, over the last uh, 12 months, uh, a lot more activity and, and market sentiment in 360 video. So these are some of the most recent headlines about um, how 360 ads are driving higher purchase intent um, and, and brands are, are, are seeing better results when they can immerse people and create empathy and emotion. 
This is a slide just showing that uh, Facebook invested in a company called Oculus Go. They paid two billion, over $2 billion for that business, and Oculus brought out a 200-pound headset earlier this year, which is a, ga a game changer, really, going from you've got to invest 1,500 pounds and have a high-end PC to just pick it up, no phone, no, no PC. So the market is evolving rapidly, um, and we've spent the last two years really building that end-to-end -end solution, which is we've got the largest archive of premium 360 video content in the world if someone just wants to come in and license it. Um, we've got over 700 professional creators all over the world. If you don't find what you want on our platform, commission any one of the creators around the world exactly as NASA did or McAllen did to create the content. And then about a year ago, we built uh, or started building what has become known as kind of the PowerPoint for virtual reality. So how do you drag and drop content, regular video, clickability, shopability into a 360 experience in minutes. Well, that's the platform that we've invested heavily into, into building. Uh, and then you publish it anywhere, not just into headsets, but on any, on any, any website into the, into the web. So it's, that's the scalable, scalable part of the business and a uh, platform that Deloitte and Universal are, are using. Um, why do we think we're going to win? Uh, we were first in the market by some way, just as I was when I started Viral Spiral and, and the viral video business. I was the first to license a viral video to a brand. We were the first to license a 360 video to, to, to a brand. Um, we've obviously worked with businesses like Facebook, who have paid us a lot of money for content, um, uh, agencies like McCann and brands directly like Intel. Um, and we estimate that the total value of the content that we've got on the platform is in excess of five million pounds. I've talked already a, a bit about the platform. Um, it, it's a drag and drop web-based tool used by businesses like Universal Music, Everton, Lad Bible, who also invested in us, um, and, and Deloitte. Um, the market is growing rapidly, and the interesting thing about Blend is that we don't just tap into the virtual reality business. We're also into ad spend and digital and mobile, which are obviously also um, fast-growing sectors, as you can see. Um, we do uh, health and well-being and, and training, and obviously those are significant marketplaces as well um, that, we're, that we're tapping into and taking a share of. How do we make our money? We license content. We help people find and license content. We produce content, and then we charge platform fees for anyone who wants to create these interactive experiences, just as we did with Disney this month. Um, we've got a great management team, not only myself. Simon here is our head of content, and you'll hear from him a, a little bit later. Kerry is our CTO and uh, has uh, worked with the BBC for 14 years and has been building video technology for many years. And, and Noyanoka is our head of marketing, our, our CMO. Um, who else has invested in us um, in the last two and a half years? Uh, the founder of Maker Studios, um, the founders of the Lad Bible, the CEO of Schroders, the M MD of ITM Production. So we're proud to have attracted some really heavy hitting industry investors who have not just taken faith in us and invested their money, but also have added value as investors. Um, so uh, I talked a little bit about L'Oreal as a, as a case study and how they've used our platform earlier. All of this is available on our Crowd, Crowdcube uh, page. Um, we've worked with the NHS, also another interesting use case, distracting people when they're giving blood or having you know, chemotherapy treatment. It's far better to be in a headset on Bondi Beach than looking at kind of neon lights in, in a hospital. Thank you. Thank you, David. Um, Eddie, have you got any questions? So, so Jamie, I think, um, so I tend to talk to people and say, you know, video is better, a better medium than, say, audio. And I think immersive, I personally suspect or think, is a better medium than video. Mm -hmm. So what are the features of immersive that makes it so much more compelling or more powerful, say, for marketing? Why well, would these brands use immersive and not just straight video? Yeah. Well, there's a lot of video content out there in the marketplace. You know, we all have Facebook, we all have Instagram, and people are scrolling. I think there's a statistic that people scroll every day the length of the Empire State Building. Mm -hmm. wow. So you're scrolling constantly, and you know, sometimes we stop, sometimes we don't. What we're seeing, and to some degree there's a novelty factor right now, but far higher engagement rates when people can actually go in and look around. And some, some people put it down to the fact that the user is then in control you know suddenly you're empowered because you can look around and you can make the choice at what you look at the other part of it is gamification so the experience that we just created for Disney that you can see on disney.co.uk on their homepage right now um, is 
uh, a gamification of the format. So you've got to find Mickey Mouse, kind of hidden Mickey Mouses, and that's engaging. And anything that engages people or immerses people just creates a different level of uh, excitement and, uh, and interaction. And if I can just add to that as well, you, you said it in the question, it's immersive. So when people actually put a headset on, they are immersed in the world that they're in. So if you walk into a room, you don't just walk into a room and walk out again. You'll stand in that room and you look around, and that's right. exactly what immersive content does. It encourages the viewer to look around, to engage with it, and to stay in there for longer. And that's the power of it, particularly on social. And when you put it on headsets, it's, it's just mind-blowing. You know, if you've, got, if you've got really great content, as we have, and you put it on a headset and you put people in there, they don't want to go. Right, you get far higher engagement, basically. Yeah, and the retention level is much higher as well because obviously they're experiencing more, they're taking more in. So if you were to watch a film, if you were to watch a clip, a three-minute clip or a, a piece of branded content in immersive, in a headset, and you were to watch it on a video screen, you would be able to retain. You, if we would have a conversation about it afterwards, you could tell me much more about it had you watched it in a headset than had you just watched it on, a, mm. on Netflix or something. Yeah, and everything that we do works on the web. So any web browser, which is scalable, but is... Mm just fantastic in headsets. Right, mm -hmm. and as you say, the Oculus... Uh, Oculus Go, it's Go is yeah. 200 quid now. Yeah. 200 pounds, yeah. you know, you can get it on Amazon. That really is a birthday gift or a Christmas gift, whereas two years ago, two and a half when I started the business, it really was high-end PCs and you're tethered or you got or to sticking a phone, phone in the front. Which and it's moved just so quickly in the last two years. Yeah, and also the, the, the engagement level is such that because it's so interesting and so engaging, particularly on social media, on Facebook, people share it. Right, people share it, and they stay in there so much longer, and then they share it, and they'll watch it again. They'll go back, and they want to see something else. It's just the nature of it. It's like the viral video that you had, like just. Well, it's interesting because yeah. not only did I manage the most viewed user-generated video, mm. but we partnered with the Lad Bible on a 360 video that became the most viewed 360 video of all time on Facebook, and it reached something like 40 million people. Oh, wow. yeah. It was this beautiful 360 video of the um, Northern Lights over Alaska, the Aurora Borealis, and that kind of reach because it's just shareable and engaging. So that's, uh, that's another just um, uh, statistic of uh, reach. And of all, uh, of all the sort of videos you've made, is there a particular one that you, you're particularly happy with or proud of? And what are the key features of what, what uh, makes it so good? In terms of things that we've made, I think our, my favorite one is, is a job we did for the McAllen recently. So earlier in the year, we worked with a, uh, an agency in New York called M Booth, which um, is a digital communications agency that had McAllen as a client. Um, and they wanted to create immersive experiences to, as a kind of a brand relaunch, but also really to, to, to showcase this new distillery they'd uh, built in Speyside. They spent 120 million building, which is like a bottom film set, basically. Nice. Um, so we, we wrote four films for them. We went up there, we filmed it. Um, amazing place and you know we had a lot of toys to play with it was and we, we did it sorry really well you know we, we put we put every bit of effort into it to make sure it was absolutely perfect and the main uh the main point of doing it because they wanted to have a brand activation uh which they launched in uh, new york grand central station and they had a, a 20 foot by 20 foot cube that they had made by a company in uh, florida and within the cube they had the film projected Okay, and outside the cube, they'd made a little village, so they'd place you could sit down. You could watch the films on the headset. You can drink whiskey. The guys making cocktails. Um, you know, if I was tweeting, you know, the social media impressions alone were huge for that week. But you'd go into the cube, and then the films would be playing in 360. You put headphones on. You'd have a brand ambassador. It was filmed with ambisonic audio, which is basically 3D surround sound. So as you're flying over the trees, you hear a crow squawking. You, you know, you're literally looking over shoulders. There's wind blowing in your face. There's a smell of whiskey as you go through the distillery. Amazing, absolutely fantastic. But then, of course, they can you can reversion that, and they've I think they've got it at uh, World of Whiskies in Terminal Five. So when you're looking at McAllen, you can put a headset on, you can visit the distillery, you're going to buy more. And then this this whole cube has been shipped off to Asia, where it's being uh, showcased in China. I think they're going to do it in um, in Tokyo. Um, so yeah, it's it's just uh, it was a beautiful experience. Yeah, it sounds really amazing. Yeah, it and it works on Facebook and Twitter mm. and Snapchat and the yeah. web as well. So. Yeah. It's you kind of two levels of experience. You yeah. don't need to wear the headset to make don't need it the No, you don't, know. But no. it is another, le another level of experience. Mm. Yeah, when you're in totally. Yeah, yeah. And you guys have got some amazing ambassadors already. Mm. Can we ask how you met these people? Um, it, well, really just through my own career. Um, you know, I've been around the industry for 20 years. So um, the Lad Bible I actually met through my last business, Viral Spiral. Um, the CEO of Schroeder's was introduced by another investor. Um, the founder of Maker Studios, actually Maker Studios, which is a Disney-owned um, business, um, 
almost acquired Viral Spiral, and we never did that deal in the end, but I got to know the founder very well. So really just through a network of, of connections who yeah. were interested enough, some of whom, to introduce us to other people because they like the business. Great. Well, thank you so much, Damien mm -hmm. and Simon. That's all we've got time for thank today. Uh, if you'd like to find out anything more about Blend Media, then you can do so on crowdcube.com. <laughs>